Welcome back to California Live. From farm to glass, that's the motto behind a new cocktail farm considered the nation's first. I recently sat down with the founders of a real-life sister duo who quit their nine-to-fives, they say, to make happy hour even happier using fresh ingredients from the land. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Okay, so Belinda, both you and Venice used to have corporate jobs. Uh, but then you decided to quit and start a mobile bar company. What inspired you to do that? It was our families. We were young mothers, and for the first time, we wanted to, you know, just really experience that process of having young kids and being home more and not commute three hours a day. That was a big part of it. Yeah, that's always a really good way to start a company, right? And you've essentially created a cocktail farm. I don't know what this is, but it sounds amazing. Uh, what does that mean exactly? Yes, yeah, so everything that I grow on our farm um, is intended to go into cocktails in some way, shape, or form. So whether that's herbs or edible flowers or even vegetables and fruits, it is all grown with the idea that it'll go into either our syrups or we also have a bar here in Seattle, Washington, and so sometimes they end up in our bar too. And this is pretty interesting. So you're both first generation farmers, not to mention the fact that only about 30% of farmers in this country are actually women. What has been the most surprising or challenging thing about having your own farm? Well, I think, first of all, with that statistic, it's really interesting because there have always been women on farms having a huge impact on the farm business. Um, it's just whether there's, you know, the ownership by a woman. Um, so. There's that, and I think the biggest surprise for me is how much work it is to farm full time, and then also how challenging it is to make a profit off of small farms and the amount of acreage that we have living in a more urban area. Yeah, we only have 10 acres, so to turn 10 acres into any sort of living is really challenging, and we've had to find our niche, which is cocktails. <laughs> yeah. And behind a great farmer, there's probably a woman doing most of the work, right? Doing some sort of like power there. <laughs> All right. Okay, absolutely. so yeah, absolutely. Okay, so you're going to show us how to make a cocktail using your apple pie syrup. Okay, this already sounds delicious as is, but you're making an apple pie Collins. So what do we need to do to make this at home? Yeah, so this is super simple. One of the reasons we definitely recommend it. Um, you're just gonna take our apple pie syrup. There's so much goodness in here already that you really can't mess it up from here. But you just do one ounce of this uh, into a cocktail shaker. You could even make it just right in the glass if you want. You don't have to get extra dishes dirty. Um, and then you're going to do just a little bit of lemon juice. So I've got a quarter of a lemon that I'm gonna squeeze just to add a little brightness and acidity to the drink and put that right in there. And then it's an ounce and a half of vodka. And that's it, you're gonna shake it with ice and add some club soda. So this is one that I love because if you're entertaining for the holidays, it's so fast and easy to make. You can make it by the pitcher bowl, you can put it in a punch bowl, whatever you want. Um, and it's just gonna taste like warm apple pie um, with a little bit of refreshment, a little bit of brightness from that lemon. Okay, that sounds so delicious. Definitely ready for the holidays now with that drink. Okay, so what's next for you two? Well, after this cocktail, of course, <laughs> we've got a Cocktail Farm Club subscription and it ships monthly. Do you want to tell about it? Yeah, so next month is apple pie and it'll ship out right before Thanksgiving. So we are busting all of the butts <laughs> to get that out in time for the holidays. Um, and then we also have a shrub, which is a vinegar-based syrup. And we only ship a shrub once a year, and so that's exciting. Um, and then we ship that out every other month. Amazing. <laughs> that looks so good. Can you just take a sip and tell me tell me how good it is? I'm, I'm oh, drooling right now. I guess I could. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Thank you so much. And also, my husband has become quite the mixologist, so I'm going to have to get on your subscription box for all your syrup. So I'm going to get that as a gift. Thank you so much, you two. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. We can't wait to send it to him. Tell us what you think.